everyone, it's Susanna here with Health Ed Solutions, and today's lesson is on Heart Murmurs Overview, part of our Heart Murmur series. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com for more free content. Now, let's get started. Heart murmurs are abnormal sounds that are heard while auscultating, that means listening to, the heart while using a stethoscope. S1 is called lub, and S2 is known as dub. S1 is caused by the simultaneous closing of the AV valves, the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. The closing of the AV valves marks the start of systole and blood ejection from the ventricles into the great arteries. S2 is caused by the closing of the semilunar valves at the end of systole. The aortic and the pulmonary semilunar valves close at the same time. This closing marks the start of diastole and ventricular filling that occur after S2 and before the next S1. If we draw out another cycle of heart sounds, we can consider how to classify heart murmurs or other abnormal heart sounds. First, we can listen to see when in the cycle the abnormal sound occurs. Abnormal sounds between S1 and S2 are considered systolic or ejection murmurs. Abnormal sounds that you can hear between S2 and S1 are considered diastolic murmurs. Next, you can get a better idea of which valve or area of the heart is making the abnormal sound by where the murmur is most clearly and loudly heard. The apex of the heart is best for listening to mitral valve function, the tricuspid area is usually best heard just to the side of the sternum and a little higher than the apex. The aortic and pulmonary valves are best heard near the base or the top of the heart on either side of the sternum. And of course, the type of sound is critical for classifying heart murmurs. Crescendos and decrescendos get louder and then quieter throughout the murmur. Pan or hollow murmurs remain constant throughout. You can remember this because the root word pan means all. Clicks and snaps usually indicate that a stiff valve finally popped open as pressure built behind it. That's it for our lesson today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to please like and subscribe below.